Hello Team Gems! How are you this evening? It is Wednesday night and I promised that I would list the incentives for the month of August. Can you believe tomorrow is August 1st already? And we have a full month before the summer's over and especially with this amazing Rock the Summer Challenge, we've already gotten a two week head start in July to work towards our goals. So the purpose of this video is to inspire you, to motivate you, to get you energized and excited for the month ahead as we try and attempt and move forward to promote to star. So I'm really excited because that is my goal for this month and I'm putting it out there so that you ladies can hold me accountable and push me as I will push you and together each achieves more and we're gonna go for the red and get me into my red shoes and bring our entire team to a whole new level. So with that being said, I did um, post in our Stellar Gems group a couple things that I want you to get ready for just as a heads up so you could prepare for this challenge. So there are a couple things. The number one thing that I would like for you ladies to do is to make a goal poster. You can make a very big one like I tend to do because I really need to see it and be visual with it. And what I usually do is then I take a picture of it and then I have it on my phone so I'll refer back to it. Um, every now and again and I usually do take updated snapshots of it as well because I'm very visual it really helps me focus and get into it um, and that goal can be whatever you want if it's to sell you know 500 to get qualified great if it's um, to fund you know some extra expenses like you want a spa day or you want to get something for your kids or you want to be able to help pay towards a trip or even a bill that's fine too. Whatever that goal is, I need you to visualize it. I need you to put it on paper, something visual. It could be an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper or it could be an actual poster or it could be on an index card that you keep with you in your wallet. I don't care, but I need you to make something visual to hold yourself accountable and to remind yourself what you're going for in the month of August. If you're doing the Rock the Summer Challenge, why not attempt it? You're at least trying to move your business forward. And if you're able to, fantastic. And even if you don't hit your goal, the one that you set out initially, you're still moving forward and you're still moving ahead. So there's no negative uh, criticism here for your attempts to try. Every effort counts. So just know we are cheering you on. I'm cheering you on. And we all want this for each other. So let's share and be energized, okay? So. I'm doing a couple goals. I'm going to do the Rock the Summer Challenge to achieve star, thereby meaning that I plan to hit level one, two, three, and four. And I'm also going to be holding a booking challenge to see how many bookings we have for you to be able to earn incentives and prizes. So, to show you where I'm going with this, this is my goal poster. And as you can see, it says Rock the Summer Challenge, and I have the qualifying period, which is July 22nd through August 31st. And I've literally blown up the image, and all of these files that you see on here are actually from the Rock the Challenge, uh, Rock the Summer Challenge Facebook group. If you look under Photos and Files, there's different things in there that you can pull and print. So this is an actual photo image that I printed off, and I put the levels here. And then I put like a little barcode because I love highlighting every time I get a little bit closer at each dollar amount. I try to do it like every three days or every week. And then I'll be able to see how I'm progressing. So instead of going from the bottom up, this time I'm gonna go from the top down because the challenges are listed this way. So ultimately, I'll hit star and this is where I'm going to track the team on who gets qualified and how our team sales are doing to achieve the star um, retail sales for the group of 12,308. That's all on here. And then as you can see, I have the iPad. I know that we came out with a great um, opportunity to be able to purchase the iPad. I want to make stars so that I can reward myself with one. So I'm putting this here as my prize, other than the four prizes I'm already going to achieve by trying to gun for star. I'm very excited about getting the Pegasus and that blue Parisian tote. I'm totally stoked. So I'm putting it here as a visual. It's going to hang up on my wall in my 
makeshift office slash guest bedroom, which is this room, and we're going to track it. So this is the poster. So if you'd like to make one similar, even if you're only tracking for one, two, and three, and not necessarily star, which I don't know why you could try, um, you could still do it very similar to mine, and then just put what other goals that you want to add to it, and omit this section if you weren't going to strive for that last level. But I think this is a great way for you to hold yourself accountable. Your family will see it, and they will know your goals, and they will have an open dialogue with you about where you're headed and how you're doing. Okay, so here's the first poster that I have. So again, like I said, it doesn't have to be a big poster. You can do a small poster as well on regular paper, cardstock, index cards, a little note, whatever it is. I need you to make that poster, and I need you to take a picture of it and share it with the group. So that will be part one of the incentives. Uh, all those that are serious about trying to earn these incentives, that is the first part. And then once everyone is in, I will give you until Friday to submit those images. Um, the second part of this incentive is also to book. So I told you to get your list of names together and I want you to book, book, book. Hostess shows, pop-up shows, salon trunk shows. Go through my YouTube channels and look at how to do a catered bubbles and bling and mystery hostess show, whatever it is. Because in order for us to or earn the other prizes, level two, three, and four, we have to hold three qualified trunk shows in the month of August. Okay? So they all have to qualify. And again, qualifying shows have at least... And let me double check, but I think it's $300 in sales and four unique orders on each show. Okay, so we're going to book. So what I'm going to need you to do, ladies, is from now through this, the Sunday, which is the 4th, which is also the final time that you can earn your $1,000 to win the pair of Naya earrings, you need to, in the system online, in the system book all of your trunk shows. If you have any tentative dates, put them in there because once you visually see them in there, you're more accountable and you're going to have to do the proper follow-up, the proper setup, the proper preparation to have a successful trunk show, okay? So I want you to book, book, book. I'm gonna look for them in the system on Sunday night and Monday and then we're gonna tally up and my second poster is going to be for the booking challenge. And the one that has the most bookings um, at the end of the month, well actually, no, I'm sorry, by August 15, by mid-month, the n most set on, uh, of bookings, and of course by then some of you will have held your shows already. But I need to have the bookings entered in there ASAP, so dedicate your weekend if it's possible, to booking and getting some shows on your books um, and even if you're only planning to do one or two then put them in and I will count them for your incentive and what will happen is I have a major special prize but I don't have it in my possession yet I ordered it and I want to be able to show it as a dangling carrot for you to get motivated to work for the incentive um, and then there will be runners up in prizes as well but for you to be entered into the challenge, you must first make your booking poster or your goal poster, I'm sorry. And then the second part of this challenge is for you to enter in your trunk shows onto the lounge so that I can visibly see them and start to tally up and make a separate poster so we can see how many bookings our team has. And what we really need to go for, for us to achieve star, is we need to have at least 20 to 30 shows between the whole entire team for the month of August. Because then it gives us a little bit of padding, um, a safety net, if you will, so that if we have a bad show, we still have another one to follow right up. Okay, so just think of people that are having people over. Don't try to make it seem like the trunk show is a lot of work. If you see that you're getting resistance, that they think they have to prep, Keep it simple, sweetie. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Tell them wine and cheese and fruit, fruit plate, crackers and dip and beer. Doesn't matter. Champagne and cupcakes, mimosas and muffins. They want to do a Sunday brunch style, java and jewels. You can do happy style hour for one hour. Keep it very low key, 
no frills, nothing super fancy, unless they want it to be fancy, that's a different story. Minimal food because you're handling jewelry with your hands and accessories and let them know this is not a demonstration. And I think that's the hang up. A lot of women, because they've been to other direct sales jewelry shows or parties, often go to a demonstration. And you clearly know, ladies, that what we do is fun. It's a girls' night out. It's a themed, fun, style event. Girls' night out. Bring your fun friends. Hang out. Play with jewels. Dress up. Big girl style, like the way we used to dress up when we were little. And if someone happens to buy something, great. No pressure. Seriously. Ladies, think about this. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I would have to schedule my girls' night out once a month, maybe twice a month if, if I ever did that. I would end up spending money at the bar, getting my cocktails on, and hanging out with my friends. Now, I get to have a girls' night out that's paid for me and it could be paid for the hostess as well because she's earning free jewels. So you are selling the, you're not selling the jewels. Yes, we're selling jewels, but you're not selling that. You're selling the experience. Okay, why do people go to Disney? Yes, the rides are there and this and that, but there's there's a lot of places you go to rides that are actually pretty cool, but you're going for the experience. So share the experience, share the excitement, share how much fun it is and how low key it is and the possibility of getting free stuff. Why not? Why wouldn't you? I would do it, I do do it. So get excited. Those are your two parts of your incentive to get your goal poster, taking a picture, make it by Friday and post it onto our group. And then by Sunday, I want you to enter in all your possible bookings that you have thus far into the lounge. And then I will follow up with you in a new video. So good luck to you ladies. Tomorrow's Thursday. Um, enjoy your night and get excited. Bye.